Good. Check the angle, as always. There we go. Okay, shalom, Israel. Shalom. Shalom, shalom, Yasserala. Shalom, shalom. This is the brother Nathan. The brother Benah. We're coming out here through the spirit, power, grace, and blessings of Adonai, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai. Come preach the gospel, the good news, good tidings unto our people, the Hebrew Israelites. Right? Fishing for the elect, fishing for the remnant, as commanded in the chief place of concourse. But first and foremost, as always, we're facing the east here. We want to give all honor, glory, and praises to our power. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash. Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father in the pale of the Hebrew tongue, which means He is, He to be, He exists. Bahasham, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, which means He is salvation, He's the deliverer. He will deliver the remnant, the elect of His people. The Hebrew Israelites, the 12 tribes, according to biblical prophecy, here in these latter days, Bahasham Harakakwadash, in the name of the Holy Spirit, since their honors and salutations, and thanks unto the sincere elder apostles, elder bishops, teachers of Great Millstone, GMS, as well as the like minded elders and brothers that are under the umbrella, pushing this truth and sincerity all in one accord across the four winds of the earth, risking your lives and freedom to do so, making your bodies a burnt offering and a living sacrifice in the names of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. So to you, we say Shalom. Shalom. That's right. Peace and sight. That's right. That's right. All the sincere hearted. And uh, to the Akim and the Akiawath, brothers and sisters, and to the hopeful elect remnant, the house of, uh, the hopeful house of David, consisting of the 12 tribes of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Haitians, West Indians, and Israelite foreigners that are scattered abroad, those who derive from the seed line of our forefather Jacob through Abraham and Isaac. You make up the 12 tribes of Israel that the Bible speaks of, God's chosen people. May you seek repentance and salvation here in these latter days. All right, peace and blessings upon you and your households to the sincere hearted, right? So once again, out here on these highways and hedges, right? And uh, here to chant down Babylon America, all right, which are the virgin daughter of Babylon, which are be destroyed, thus saith the Lord, and the ushering in of a righteous kingdom, righteous judgment, through the powers of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai, and the tabernacle of David, which will make up the governing body in the kingdom to come, the kingdom of heaven, right? Yeah, brother. Kind of, uh, jump right into it. Yep. Uh, talk about the. Um, the power, you know, Yahabashim Yahusha is at work, you know, everything is, uh, you know, uh, moving right now. Yahabashim Yahusha is moving these chess pieces and, and it's all to fulfill prophecy and ultimately to bring on the kingdom, man. Yep. And those are the, the days that we're living in and we we pray that these days are sped up. Con, mm -hmm. con, absolutely. You know, you got more and more judgments, right? You've seen the flooding that's taking place over there in New York. Right, you got these uh, uh, the government, pending government shutdown, right, so on and so forth, man. So things are con the escalation of and, and the tensions, uh, you know, that are taking place abroad through many different nations, right, that are ushering in what the third world war, right. So all praises to Yahweh Shimon for that. Right, right. So we'll start here with uh, Job 12 and verse 13. With him, so with, with him being Yahweh Shimon Yahushai, the one and only true power. God of the universe. Yep. With him is wisdom and strength. He hath counsel and understanding. That's right. Counsel and understanding. This wise counsel that is set up through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem El Shai, the like-minded men, the like-minded elders, right? Starting with the sincere elders and, and teachers and bishops of GMS Great Millstone, as well as the like-minded elders and brothers that are teaching this word and truth and sincerity, right? That wise counsel. Or that, that strength, right? Yeah. Because right, uh, with strength uh, is faith, you know. Mm -hmm. You know the, the faith that you will overcome, that Yahweh Shem Yahshai will deliver you out of your troubles, man. Mm -hmm. That that gives you the strength to endure, man. To keep fighting, to keep going, to yep. believe. Mm -hmm. That's right. Let me uh, grab this one one quick God, precept, God. Baba Shah. This is the Book of Job, chapter nine and verse four. It says, "He is wise in heart and mighty in strength. Who hath hardened himself against him and hath prospered?" It's a rhetorical question because the answer is nobody, never, not possible, impossible, right? No one has, you know, as the old saying, the brothers always say, man, your arms are too short to box with the most high, right? So it is completely impossible to go against his will, right? It is completely impossible to try to alter biblical prophecy in any which way. But you, you have uh, you have these damn devils thinking that they're going to alter biblical prophecy. You have, uh, you know, two thirds of our own people. You got Jake out here thinking they can trust in carnality and in themselves. As opposed to seeking your help by Shimmy Shai, right? So, and uh, also let me grab this uh, Job 36 and 5. Behold, the Most High is mighty and despiseth not any. He is mighty in strength and wisdom. 
That's right, man. So again, he is mighty in strength and wisdom. This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that shall be the stability of our times, as the scriptures say. Mm -hmm. And that's how uh, powerful his word is, you know? Mm -hmm. His word is not going to return void. Yep. There's nothing that anybody can do to stop the fulfillment of the biblical prophecies. Yep, yep, God, absolutely. God. And uh, uh, even uh, the curses that we've suffered under, you know, uh, Deuteronomy 28, goes into that uh, no man shall deliver thee, yep. you know, yep. Yep. be able to deliver thee. Uh, yep. We had to suffer through these times, man, and, yep. and ultimately wait upon uh, our, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh yep. Shai. Yep. Yeah, I believe it also says no man shall bite you, right? Which yeah. goes into redeem. God, God, yep. that's what I was uh, referencing. No, that's a beautiful point. Uh, oh, yeah, the water Yabashi Melshak, because that's a beautiful point, right? We cannot be redeemed except we have already been done so by the blood of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, right? There's no redeeming, there, there's no redemption coming other than Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shai, point blank period, man, right? There's no reparations and so on and so forth. You know what, what took place over there in Philly, right? You know, with all the looting and whatnot, you had a video come out with someone talking about, oh, if they steal, if they do this, that, and the third, that's reparations, right? Hey, man. No, man. Ultimately, that that is, uh, um, you know, I believe that could be even a psyop. You know? Oh, yeah. Because they ultimately want to shut down a lot of these stores, man, mm -hmm. to uh, bring forth that MOTB system, man, to where all the stores in place are going to be using the, the, you know, biometric hand Yep. Ultimately leading up to that yep, Khan. And also to usher in uh, martial law, right? Different forms of martial law and coming down with that great rap as was spoken of in the book of Revelation, right? Khan, Khan. And that I truly believe is coming with the, the electric, man. Yep, Khan. You know, with all this division, with uh, the race riots, you know. Yep. Uh, I was just reading the article, uh, I believe it was Insider Paper, talking about how the, the last few days where the, they recorded the highest. Uh, a uh, number of migrants entering the U.S. Yep. I believe it was uh, over 20,000 in one day. Mm -hmm. But basically, this is occurring every day. And as we were talking about last week, the migrant camps that, uh, that got set up, looking like FEMA camps out there in uh, um, Chicago, going to be nationwide. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're seeing more and more. And even this devil, uh, Elon Musk, was just talking about, what was it, today or yesterday, talking about how he's uh, supporting uh, uh, building up that wall. Right. So, right, exactly, man. so there's going to be that, that race riot. Yep, race wars. And a lot of these jakes, man, who are coming from these different areas, man, are going to come into Babylon, America to catch their judgment. Now, there may be of some that are of the remnant, the elect, that could be coming over here for salvation, but there's going to be an overwhelming number of them that come into the land, uh, you know, of the house of bondage, man, spiritually Sodom and Gomorrah, spiritually Egypt, that is Babylon, America, and they're going to come and catch that judgment, man. Right? right? Let me check the board real quick before we continue to lock you. Okay, it looks like. All right. Hey, Shalom, Zaquan. Sagalab, Rakim. Y'all, Bashim, Y'all, Shab, Rakata, Elder. To you and the brother Amath out there, man. Going hard in the paint in North Carolina. Always edifying, man. And Shalom to the sister Nakala. Y'all, Bashim, Y'all, Shab, Rakata. All right. Peace and blessings upon you and your households and to the like minded heart, uh, sincere brothers and sisters that may tune in. So, going into that, that wisdom and, and strength that counsel and understanding that's mm -hmm. from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai yep. going into uh, uh, where do we get that mm -hmm. and uh, this is a precept from uh, Psalms Psalm 119 and verse 104 mm -hmm. through my through thy precepts I get understanding therefore I hate every false way mm -hmm. that's right man so these people that do not uh, they want to change the Bible they mm -hmm. want to uh, rewrite it Mm -hmm. They want to uh, uh, go and uh, uh, teach that that you can go ahead and do this and that, do what thou wilt, mm -hmm. and, and these uh, don't apply in this this age and time that we're in right now. Mm -hmm. and, you know the the Lord Yah Bashim Yah Shai hates that man. Yep. You know, God. They're supposed to be the law, statutes, and commandments are to be taught forever and ever, man. God. So you're passing it on to yeah, generation uh, to generation. Shalom. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, That's the spirit, man. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> that got me right there. Hey, I, I, got gonna, me. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, yeah, and, yeah. and Babylon is the head of that, man. Right? Where yep. it teaches that you can go out there and you know, got a whole uh, freak show out here in Babylon, America. Uh huh. Hey, man, that's the spirit, though, because you know what? Hey, that, that bullhorn, right? It's a horn. It's like an alarm, right? Okay, it's sounding okay. the alarm, man. Okay. Hey, how you doing? Hey. 
I said, yeah, so it's sounding the alarm, blowing the trumpet, right? Out here warning the people, man, of the, of the perilous times that we're in and the perilous times to come, Jacob's trouble, so on and so forth, man. Hey, and and, you know, you got to be in that, uh, you know, King David spirit. We got to be fighting for you. How about Shimmy Al Shai? Soldiers of Hamas Yat. Yep. As, uh, what's it, King David said, um, everyone uh, that is against thee, I hate thee. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Hate them with perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got that. Perfect hatred, Khan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. And that's how we have to be uh, uh, looking at Babylon America and even the. Uh, you know, even those that, that buck up against the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, even two thirds of our people that are coming against the prophets, coming against the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. Mm hmm. Khan, Khan. Yeah, let me grab this, friend. like the brother mentioned, a uh, reference out of Psalm chapter 139, start at verse 20. It says, For they speak against thee wickedly, and thine enemies take thy name in vain. That's right, man. So again, they, when they speak against the prophets as well. When they speak against the men who are sincerely out there making the bodies of living sacrifice in the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? You know, they're speaking against those men as well when they speak evil of him, right? When they take the, the holy name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in vain, right? Yeah, that's doing, they're doing wickedly. Now, verse 21 says, Do I not, Aslakia, do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? And am, I, am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. That's, That's right, right, man. So on this side, man, uh, many of our own people are, are, are enemies, man. They're in that, uh, what is that, that King Saul spirit, you know? Uh -huh. Where, hey, man, we're, we're waiting to see them on the other side, man, when they get right. Mm -hmm. But on this side, man, they are, are you know, counting as our enemies. They're aligning themselves with the wicked, you know? Yep. And they, they are uh, nothing but vexation out here. With all the spirits out here in Babylon, man. Con, vexation, vanity, con. I know, man. A lot of spirits getting stirred up these days too. Con. Uh, just right before when we were setting up, man. Yeah, we we, we had what appeared to like, likely be a Jake, man, just walking across him, like talking to himself, like pumping himself up. Mm -hmm. You, you seem stirred up about something, man. He looked yeah, like he was yeah. ready to go let loose talk, on someone. Talking about money, and then he's like, oh, he's talking about how he's gonna, he's the biggest badass dude. I'm gonna fuck you up, man. Talking to himself. Yeah, God, yeah, man. A lot of spirits getting stirred up these days, man. And those are the signs of the times, man. Right? Yeah. And Shalom to the brother you want to thumb a car. Hey, yeah, Shalom. Y'all by Shema Shai Brakatam Alak. Peace and blessings upon you and your household, brother. And all those that, that uh, you hope to be on them chariots with you, as you often reference, brother. Yeah. Absolutely, man. Right, so I'm going to continue to get a little bit more off of that Psalm 119. Mm -hmm. God. Uh, this is Psalm 119 and 105. Uh, none says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Mm -hmm. And that's right, man. Here in the land of darkness, here in the shadow of uh, death, here in Babylon, America, you have to be led through the spirit and the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Because mm -hmm. people, uh, there's nothing but judgment going on out here, man. So we have to uh, shield ourselves under that 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 mercy and protection of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, which we constantly pray for each and every day. Yep. Khan, yeah, this is a, a narrow path, right? As you spoken of in the book of 2nd Ezra, right? Uh, a deep water on one side and a, and a fire on the other. I believe that's uh, the seventh chapter, 2nd Ezra chapter 7, Khan, Khan. right? Hey, because if you don't have that light and that lamp along your path, man, that's guided by the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua and the yep. Spirit, yep. Uh, you're going to be uh, uh, one of those blind leaders of the blind, you know? Yep. So the, Lean each other into that ditch, which is ultimately that that pit, that pit, that the grave. Mm -hmm. you know, yep, lead yourself to the death, man. Gone. You're gonna you're gonna slip, man. As the scriptures speak of, man. Right. You know, talking about being upheld, our ways, our feet being upheld by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, just like that song by the band War, right? Slipping into darkness. Uh, uh, right. Slip, yeah. A lot of people are slipping, man. Yeah, don't get caught slipping, as they say in the world, right? Let me grab this real quick, Baba Gashah, from Proverbs 6 and 23. For the commandment, the law, statutes, and commandments, right? This word, this truth, is a lamp, and the law is light. And reproofs of instruction are the way of life. That's right, man. Right, so man. reproof, corrections. You know, these instructions, man, yep. are, uh, you know, they're good, man. They're for life, you know? Following these uh, uh, dietary uh, commandments by the Adawan, by, by following the ways that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh sets upon you, man, mm -hmm. yep. you know, to do good, you know, they are light. And this world is full of darkness, man, yep. because they tell you everything to go against that, man. Yep, yep, they give you those smooth things, man, right? They And uh, I, Esau Abedin, man, his words are smoother than butter. Or what does it say? It speaks of it as being as oil, 
right? Smooth as butter, roughly paraphrasing, right? But war, man, war, swords, they're drawing swords, man. War is in their heart, man, right? They're looking to bring our people down with all the enchantments and enticements, God, the wickedness God. of the world. And that's that spirit of Esau always, man, you know, to where they, they want to have something on you, you know? Yep. They want to uh, entice you to do wickedly so that they can hold that above your head. Yep. You know, uh, just like many stories you hear of, uh, you know, those people in the entertainment business, you yep. know, they, they talk about how they, they walk into a trap, man, yep. where Esau, yep. you know, lures right. them into Hey, the what's going on, man? What's going on? Hey, hey how, how we doing, man? Shalom. Yeah. Okay, get, yeah. get some love, man. Get hey. over here, man. Come on. Hey, you stay prayed up, man? You stay in book? Hey, you want some water? Okay, get some water, please. Yeah, bro. Got you, man. Got you, man. Hey, man, we got a, we got, we got the young believer, man, Jeremiah over here, man. This, right, Jeremiah? Yeah, that's right, bro. That's it, man. Let me get you some water, bro. How you been, though, man? Good? Stay up in the spirit, all right? All right, man. Yeah, that's the young believer, man. He been by the altar a few times. He been by the altar a few times. He seemed a little down in the spirit, though. Yeah. Hey, shalom to the brother, uh, Kalab. Hope, grace, and mercy one four four. Y'all bash me on shabbat shalom. Peace and blessings, and blessings upon you and your household. Like yeah, yeah. This brother, you want to thumb a car with that Psalm sixty four and five? They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune. It's like yeah. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? Verse four of Sakia. Like verse six. They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search, both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. Woo, fire, man. That's right, man. They're always looking to lay snares and traps for our people, man. One way or another, man. Always putting it out there, man. Always looking to have a one up on you, man. Always looking to have dirt, right? Always looking to have dirt on you, man, right? And again, man, that's always something that they're willing to use and hang over your head, quote unquote, right? And that's something that, again, our people are constantly going into, man, right? Esau, the self-proclaimed so-called white man that goes back to the lineage of Esau of Edom, the devil that the Bible speaks of, the wicked, right, is always looking to it's, uh, snare and, and trap our people, man, right? So on and so forth. That's why he's known as the cunning hunter, right? The fowler. Go ahead, bro. This is uh, Psalm 119 and verse 106. I have sworn and I will perform it that I will keep the righteous judgments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Righteous judgments, right? All the judgments of the Heavenly Father are righteous and true altogether, roughly paraphrasing that from the book of Revelation. That's right. And uh, that would bring you at peace with all the judgments that are, are being executed by the Heavenly Father mm -hmm. because we know that judgment must come. Mm -hmm. says, yes. I am afflicted very much. Quicken me, O Adawan, Yabashim Yahushai, according unto thy word. Yep. That man being quickened, being revived, being made alive in the spirit, right? You know, Ezekiel 37 talks about the valley of the dry bones, right? That parable going into the, the 12 tribes coming together, the northern and southern kingdom, all 12 tribes being revived in the spirit, man, being quickened, again, made alive, right? And through this word, right? Through this word, because yeah, your heart can beat, man, but hey, man, the scriptures speak of the congregation of the dead. Right? And that's many of these people that are without this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, right? For you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, Haitians, and West Indians, and all those that are scattered coming from the sea line of Jacob, you are the 12 tribes of Israel that the Bible speaks of. Now, unless you repent in the names of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, here in these latter days, especially here in Babylon, America, you're going to die in the land of your captivity, right? Pursuant to Zechariah chapter 13 and verse 8, where two-thirds, okay, of the nation of Israel, the biblical nation of Israel, are going to die. Right? And that's here in Babylon, America. Right? How are they going to fight? By the famine, the sword, the pestilence, and thermonuclear destruction. Well, that's right. So here in this uh, modern day Sodom and Gomorrah, here in Babylon, America, just like Lot, man. Yep. The, uh, the servants of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai are vexed with the filthy conversation, man, mm -hmm. yep. of the inhabitants. Yep. That's right. Mm -hmm. So, Absolutely. hey, but that's, uh, you know, what we have, uh, um, you know, we've been built up on, you know, through the faith and do this wisdom and understanding of Yahweh Hashem Shai to know that that's what comes with the territory, man. Yep. That is just uh, part of the, the battle, conditions of the battle. Yep. Um, let me get a quick one. Uh, this is a uh, classic. This is a rock, Ecclesiasticus 2 and 1. My son, if thou come to serve the outer one, prepare thy soul for temptation, set thy heart all right, 
and constantly endure and make not haste in the time of trouble. Yeah. That's right, man. So we have to constantly endure these things ultimately until, you know, the Haobashim Yahushai comes forth and, and delivers his elect, man. God. Right? Right? And yeah. well, speaking of spirits, yeah, I got one stirred up on the corner right there. See? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, but, that's the Heavenly Father giving a token, right, man. man. But hey, we got to set the heart all right. Yep. Set our mind on... on Thinking uh, kingdom minded salvation, man. Yep. Knowing that the Adawan, Yah Bashim Yah Shai, he is the one that's gonna uh, deliver us each time, man. Yep. He's gonna give us the strength to keep pushing, man. Yep. And, and to uh, uh, not be uh, thinking of, of the world that we're in now, man. Yep. Con. You know? That's right. And let me grab this real quick just to land back off that. This is Proverbs chapter 24, verse 10. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. Time, man. So yeah, you you know what I mean. You're facing some challenges, some adversity, man. Whether it be in the spirit, man. Whether it be of the body, right. Whether it be in your workplace, so on and so forth, man. If you are, are built on this foundation, man, right. If you are giving into temptation, man. If ultimately you falter, that's because you're not built up in the spirit, man. Your strength is small. Your spiritual strength, man. Not physical strength. That goes into the strength of your spirit, of your mind, your laab, which means your heart, which translates into the mind, right. Let me get this one real quick. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Sirach, Ecclesiastes 2 and 3. Mm -hmm. Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Woo. And that's right, man. We're approaching those end days. We are in those end times right now, man. Mm -hmm. So you're seeing brothers across the board, man, increasing yep. ancestors. Yep. You know, increasing in faith, you know, uh, abounding in, in the knowledge of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, man. And it's a beautiful time to see that that elect that, that house of David being built up, man. Yep. God, because they had that famine, that ushering in of the famine of the word, man, and, and uh, cleaving unto the Lord, man. Uh, you know, uh, joining to the Lord, man, and, and not departing, man. Mm -hmm. You know, through all the tribulation that we're going through, man, yep. continuing to uh, to stick it out. Yep. God, exactly, man. This is a this is a marathon. This is not a sprint. Right, enduring until the end, man. And until the end, until the return of our Lord and Savior, man. Until salvation comes to the remnant, the elect. Therefore, we cannot be faint, man. Lest we, lest we fall into back into darkness, man. Back into the world, man. Cast into outer darkness, as the scriptures speak of, man. All right. Let me check the board real quick. Seen the brother post up some. Brother's lighting it up, man. The water. You want thumb a car? Yeah. Let's grab this from the brother uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 4. He is the rock. His work is perfect. For all his ways are judgment. Judgment. That that term goes. Uh, that judgment goes into justice. Now it says, a power of truth, and without iniquity, just and right is he. That's right, man. When he puts down a lot of Israelites here in these latter days, man. Right when he puts down Jake, man. When he puts down when when mass death is is, is taking place, they're still cleaning up bodies over there in Libya, right? From the from uh, thousands of people getting washed into the sea, man. So on and so forth, man. Uh, into the Mediterranean. They're still fishing out bodies, man. But that's a righteous judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Even those people over there are saying, hey, this is God's will. That's right. It's the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. 30, uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 39, right? I kill, I make alive, I wound and I heal, right? There's no power beside me, right? Now let's continue on here and let's grab this from my brother as well. And that's how you know that, that Babylon is that, that horror upon that beast, you know? Yep. To where they're in this land here man there is no uh reverence there's no fear of the most high yep. you know even uh these uh, people across the, the sea man they, they still have a reverence for a god man yep. but here this is this place man there's no fear yep utter confusion man utter confusion and lawlessness man iniquities man nothing but sin upon sin right well let's grab this from the brother salakia yeah brother post it up uh you want to thumb a car post it up Second Chronicles 19 and 7. Wherefore now let the fear of the Lord be upon you. Take heed and do it. Take heed, apply it, be obedient. Now it says, For there is no iniquity with Adawan Yahweh the Lord, our power, nor respect of persons, nor taking of gifts. Right? And that term gift goes into a bribe. Right? You're not going to be able to bribe the Heavenly Father, man, to try to make your way to salvation, man. No. Good. Oh, it's like it. It's like it. Making sure these, these young cats weren't trying to run up on Eve over here, trying to walk. <laughs> uh, but anyways, yeah, man. So again, there's no taking of a bribe, right? There's no, oh yeah, I, I've been going off sin upon sin, right? But then 
I'm gonna go and, and throw five dollars into a collection plate, right? Slack it, slack it. These, 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 these young cats over here looking like they're gonna try to run up and, and you know, try to make a move on baby girl, snatch her backpack or something. You know? Alright. Anyways, let's continue on now, slack it for that. Slack it for the distractions. Alright? But hey, man, again, the spirits are getting stirred up. Hey, let's grab this real quick from the brother, uh, you want Thamma Car, Psalm 37 and 8. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon how to one you, how the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. So that the meek shall inherit the earth. And those times are coming, man, again, with, these, with this pending government shutdown, right? They're going to see the worst times they're ever upon the face of the earth. So people, I know the brother Thahawam Laab was going in on that earlier. Khan, Khan, you know, there, there book of Second Esther. Khan, there is like an article that said that that is going to affect uh, uh, so-called black families, the, the worst. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, because uh, with this government shutdown, it is going to affect those that have uh, uh, depended on government aid, yep. things like that. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be uh, putting those those funds on, on pause, man. Yep. Con, because what I read, what I think the elder Sagala had posted it up in, in uh, on YouTube, I believe, in, in the community tab, was that uh, they're gonna look to issue out uh, SSI, like like a social security aid, if you will, stuff like that. But they're not gonna be able to process new new applicants and so on and so forth. But also when it comes to SNAP, uh, food benefits, EBT, so on and so forth, right? You know, those people are gonna get like a month's worth, like for the next month. But then after that, they're not gonna be able to process them. Right, so yeah, man, there's gonna be a lot of people, man. Hey, I know the brother you want to car also posted up a video of freaking look like damn near 200 cars fucking lined, lined up at the food bank, right? So that's how it's gonna look, man. Heavy, harsh times over here in Babylon, America, man. Con, con, we're gonna see more of those, uh, yep. you know, those runs, man. People looting, con, and I believe yeah. also, I believe that's gonna affect military families. I don't want to desire, I got some articles lined up to do a lesson. And Lord, you'll be able to bring out a lesson regarding this pending government shutdown. Because again, uh, even the military families, man, they're talking about how they're not going to be getting receiving checks, man. God, so God. it's like, hey, hey man. man, it's just in time for that uh, uh, FEMA alert that's going to go off on October 4th. Yep, all kind. You yeah, know, yeah, that's that, right. That, uh, test warning. Yep. So, hey, man. Yep. They, they know exactly what time it is, man. Yep. God, exactly, man. So all praises to you. How about you, all shot for this, man? Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. So. Continue here with uh, Psalm 119 and verse 109. My soul is continually in my hand, yet do I not forget thy law. Uh huh. So that's right, man. So we're we're sticking to it, man. You know, we're not we're not straying this way or that way from the word of Yah Bashem Yah Shai. You know, we are are trying to keep all His laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability, man. You know. Mm -hmm. That way, our soul is not to, uh, you know, not to be uh, destroyed by Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Catch judgment, man. Mm -hmm. God, exactly. Because you know, transgression of the law is sin, man. So you transgress the law, man. You, you, you're, you're knowingly sinning, man. You're gonna, you're gonna face the judgment for that, man. God. So Psalm 119 and 110. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I erred not. From thy precepts. Mm -hmm. Err not. Again, going back to that adhering, man, right? Being obedient, you know, walking in truth, man, in sincerity to the best of your ability, man, applying these things, not just being a, 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 an unprofitable hearer of the word, but a doer, spoken of in the book of James. God. So constantly snares, traps everywhere that, that Esau lays upon our people to promote sin, man. Yep. To promote going against the word of Yahweh Shemiel Shad. Yep. God. Yet you have to be steadfast and have the uh the discipline man to follow every word of the Abba Shem Yahushai man. Yep. Con. Because it's so easy to continuously go off and abound in sin, man, wickedness and, and fulfilling the lusts of the flesh here in, the, in throughout Babylon America and the earth for that much, right? It's easy to do that, man. Right? But how 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 you know it's difficult, man. You know, as a brother say, man, you give your, your hardest tests to your best students, right? You know, the most difficult tasks to those who, who can actually overcome, right? So enduring until the end and overcoming these things, overcoming the wicked one, as the scriptures say, right? Okay, and overcoming the world for that much, right? Because as our Lord and Savior overcame the world, right? Therefore, we must seek to emulate that same strength and, and, and obedience, man. This is 
Psalm 119, 111. Thy testimonies have I taken as an heritage forever, for they are the rejoicing of my heart. Mm -hmm. So that's right. Knowing the testimonies, uh, the great deliverances of our people, our forefathers, and even within the brotherhood. Yep. You know, hearing the, the testimonies of each brother, knowing that they have uh, been delivered and overcame through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh man, that is uplifting its rejoicing of the heart. Mm -hmm. Knowing that, that the Lord is, is fighting for us, man, that he's with us. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. Not on right side. You know, we continue to endure, man. And that's a beautiful point that the brother's making, right? You know, is that the fact that we have this brotherhood, this wise counsel, as was brought out, right? It's spoken of in the, was it the book of Job, right? That we we're going in on, right? The counsel of the Heavenly Father, right? Set it up, man. So again, that is a beautiful thing that we can have that to what? Instill more faith. Build up your faith, man. A faith booster, right? As, as it was brothers and sisters always going on, man. Faith booster, man. You know, a lesson be right on time, man. You know what I mean? Truly uplifting your spirit, man. Finish off with this one. Psalm 119 and 112, I have inclined mine heart to perform thy statutes always, even unto the end. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. So no matter what, man, so far as having martyrs for this truth, man, uh -huh. we are going to continue to obey Yahabashimi al rather than men mm -hmm. unto the death, you know? Yep. Gone. Gone. And it's funny, actually, the sister Nakala hopped on the board earlier, right? And that term, uh, nakala, goes into an inheritance, right? It derives from heritage, right? An inheritance. I believe in the Strong's definition of Paleo-Hebrew, that goes back to nakala, right? So that's the spirit, man, right? Again, that heritage, and it, it is to be uh, all the way even until the end, right? That's Psalm 119 and 112, right? So unto the end, right? You are not to stray away from it. You are not to come away from it. To be taught forevermore. Uh, right until Adonatazah, we may have the law, statutes, and commandments written in our inward parts. Lord's will, we be of the first fruit, the remnant, the elect. Right? Absolutely. Beautiful. I'm going to jump back into that uh, Job 12. Mm -hmm. this is Job 12 and verse 14. Mm -hmm. Behold, he breaketh down, and it cannot be built again. He shutteth up a man, and there can be no opening. Mm -hmm. So, man, he shutteth up a man. So he's going to break down. He's going to build up, man. And he's going to do the same thing in the kingdom to come. He's going to break a lot of these people down, these other nations. Hey, have a good night, sir. Yeah, he's going to break a lot of things down to be rebuilt it in perfection. Right, right man. And so he, he breaks down nations, builds them up again. Yep. Uh, you know, and ultimately right now he is uh, stirring up that third woe. Yep. Con. Con. And again, that is a righteous judgment, man. Again, all the things that are going to take place, man, are for the, the at the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. It is, it is for the betterment of of the nation of Israel, Yasha Allah, right? And of course, again, uh, to the dominion, the exalting of the holy names of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, first and foremost. You know, our people uh, being broken down uh, through being punished by the other one, yep. ultimately seeing the, the tabernacle of David being built back up. Yep. You know. And we're seeing the, the downfall of Babylon, America. Con, yep, exactly. Seeing the downfall of our enemies, man. It's a beautiful thing. That is something that the Lord, you know, has a, has a great, uh, what does the scripture, the scripture speak of that as well, right? Well, Speaking of a, a man seeing the downfall of his yeah, enemies, man. Right? The downfall of right. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So seeing this wicked ass queendom fall before our very eyes, it is a very beautiful thing. All praises to you. How about Shimei Al Shai? Con, and we're watching this place uh, be destroyed before our eyes. Yep. Con, exactly, yep. exactly. So it's a beautiful thing, man. God, continue. Uh... It says, uh, this is Job 12 and 15. Behold, he withholdeth the waters and they dry up. Also, he sendeth them out and they overturn the earth. Woo! Right, man. So he's going to hold them back, right? He can cause a drought. He can cause a flood. As you see over there in New York, flood of the earth, right? Which was, uh, you know what I mean? The great death, right? The first, you know, as which is the second death going to be the, the hypersonic and thermonuclear missiles dropping down here in Babylon, America, right? But that first was the flood, right? The great, the, you know, mass death, right? Again, man, all but eight souls were saved, man, from the ancient world, man. That would be Noah, his three sons, and their wives, right? So again, that, and that is a representation of the remnant, the elect, right? You know, and we're building up that spiritual arc as the, 
the, the tabernacle of David through the spirit is being built up here in these latter days, right? We're, so we're, we're, we're trying to be just like emulate that, which was a, a spirit of fearing you, Al-Bashim al which our father, uh, our forefather Noah embodied, right? Which he represented, going out there and doing the work, building up the ark, preaching the word, right? Getting out there and letting people know that they better get right because it, it's, it's going to flood. It's going to rain. It's going to come down. That's exactly what's going to happen here, man. He prophesied for over 100 years. Fine, when nobody saw it, man. Yep. And, you know, uh, brothers have been preaching, you know, many brothers have been preaching for years and years. And, but now we are at the end and, and the uh, tokens of the end are manifesting. Yep. So, hey, now's the time. Mm -hmm. Now it's high time to wake up out of sleep while there is still time left to repent. Yep, yep. That's right, man. Because salvation draws nearer than when we have uh, when we have believed, man. That's right. Right? Well, I'm going to continue with uh, Psalm 12 and... Okay. Job 12 and 16. With him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. So all on the chessboard of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. He's mm -hmm. moving these pieces and it's all to to fulfill prophecy and to uh, build up the kingdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, ultimately. Yep. Yeah, that's right, man. So for those who, who can't get it, who won't get it, that's because Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai has got them in the trick bag one way or the other, right? If they're not predestined from the foundations of the world to attain this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, this beautiful gift that is this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, this, you know, uh, Sophia, right? That is because the Heavenly Father has made it so, God, right? And we know that the uh, truth abides in the elect, man. Yep. We know, uh, what does it say? That... Um, if it were possible, but the elect shall not be deceived. Yep, kind. If kind. it were, if it were all possible, that's right. But it is impossible. It is not possible to deceive the, the to deceive the remnant, the elect. Right. right. And let me check the board, okay? So like it. Acts a little funny. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. Let's grab this from the brother real quick. Yeah, let's get this. Woo, brother, posting up some heat. All right, let's grab this from the brother Yawana Thambakar, Second Thessalonians three and three. But how to one how the Lord is faithful who shall establish you and keep you from evil. And we have confidence in the Lord, Adwan Yahweh, touching you, regarding you, that ye both do and will do the things which we command you. And Adwan Yahweh, direct your hearts in the love of the Most High and into the patient waiting for Hamashiach. That's right, as the scriptures say, in your patience possess ye your souls. Right, so we're admonishing and exhorting and encouraging each other to continuously abound and believe and have faith. I continue to trust in the other one, Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. Scriptures say, "Woe to them that lost patience." Yeah, Khan, exactly. Yeah. Well, I believe that's the rock chapter too. Yeah, you were in there yeah, earlier. That, that's yeah, a scary but, spirit, man. Yeah, yep, that, that yeah. is absolutely. Yeah, because you see believers getting sifted out. You see men getting sifted out, man. Yeah, that is once doing the work, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That is a fearful thing, man. Khan. So we gotta, you know, continuously recite that Psalm fifty-one, mm -hmm. Psalm fifty-one and eleven, Khan. right? You know, cast me not away from Thy presence, take not Thy Holy Spirit from me. That's right, man. Right? Yeah, let's grab this real quick as well from the brother that posted up uh, Job. You have Job 9 and 4. I must work the works of him that sent me. Well, oh, it's lucky. This is John. It's lucky. St. John, chapter 9 and 4. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh where no man can work. That's right, brothers and sisters. Continue to make, make your calling of election sure. I don't know what this is. Okay, Khan. Yeah, yeah, that's the spirit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Nakhala means inheritance or heritage. Yep, that's right, man. That's the spirit. I just looked at it. <laughs> hey, that's the spirit. The brother looked up the word today. Hey, that's the spirit. All, wow. all praise the Alba Shem What are the odds of that, man? We're talking about that. The sisters on the board. Hey, man. All praise the Alba Shem As the brothers say, the spirit is real, right? The tokens of the Heavenly Father, man. Uh, Job 12 and 17. He leadeth counsel, counselors away, spoiled, and maketh the judges fools. That's right. And who are the current judges upon the earth right now, man? That is uh, Esau of Edom and these uh, so-called elites that are running the earth. Mm -hmm. right. and, and even those of our own people, yeah, right, right. who are, you know, pork chop eating pastors, man, these, you know, so on and so forth that are leading our people astray, as you, as you referenced earlier, right? The blind leading the blind into that ditch. Right. Many of our people, man, he's going to deprive that wisdom, that quote-unquote wisdom, right? The wisdom of the world. Right? When all hell starts breaking loose, they're not going to have answers. Gone, and many of them have taken the bag from Esau, yep. and they're going and uh, leading our people astray. Gone, taking that bag, that 501c3, 
you know, uh, and, and ultimately doing things for filthy lucre, right? right? For vainglory, so on and so you forth, know. man. It's a lot, Let me check that. You know, a lot of the, the musicians, uh, yep. um, you know, so called uh, uh, influencers, yep. all that. Con, con, exactly. You got these quote unquote social media influencers. Look at that quote unquote meatball, right? Meatball over there in Philadelphia. You know, leading people to, to go and loot and, and go batshit crazy and then getting their ass arrested. You know what I mean? Hey, that's a all judgment. You know what I mean? Again, it's done in righteousness and in truth. So all praises to you. How about Shimei on Shah for that, man? Okay. Right, go ahead, bro. Job 12 and 18. Mm -hmm. He looseth the bond of kings and girdeth their loins with a girdle. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. And girdeth their loins with a girdle, right? So again, girding up, man. So, you know, the bonds of kings, man, hey, man, you know what? I don't want to desire we may be of the remnant of the elect, man, to be and ultimately uh, put on that vesture, man, put on this garment, put on the armor of the Lord, right, to be able to withstand all the temptations, man, in particular when it comes up to this RFID microchip, man, when the CBDCs come in, right, the RFID microchip, which is the MOTB, the mark of the beast spoken of in Revelation chapter 13. And you see that Neuralink is also ramping things up, right? They're going to start, you know, human uh, test trials and whatnot. They're actually actively recruiting on their website, man. Um, you go to Neuralink, yeah, they're actively recruiting people, man. Um, so I just want to get to that point, though, that the, these uh, governments, man, these uh, mountains and hills, man, are being brought down. You're seeing yep. many uh, kings of the earth, man, that are, you know, the people are, are in an uproar, man. They have no regard for it. Uh -huh. Going back to, what is that, the second Ezra in the 15th chapter or 16th? Yep, con. Yeah, yeah, they should have no regard for the kings nor princes. Yep, con. exactly. You got hey. a lot of people doing that yeah. these other days. That's it, man. Revolting. So, hey, he, he's uh, stripping them away of their power, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Con. And, uh, continue with uh, Job 12 and 19. He leadeth princes away spoiled and overthroweth the mighty. Mm -hmm. Good. It says, he removeth away the speech of the trusty and taketh away the understanding of the aged. Mm -hmm. Sorry, man. So all these people, right? Oh, man. Oh, he must be wise, right? He's of a, you know, elder man. Oh, he must be wise. Like, nah, man, if you're wise in the world, man, that's foolishness with the most high, right? If it has this book, uh, I believe it's the book of Isaiah, right? If they speak not according to this word, it is because there's no light in them, right? That wisdom and knowledge and understanding. If they don't speak according to the words of Yahweh, Bashim, and Shai, man. Right, so again, he's gonna take away, he's gonna deprive them even of their, their worldly knowledge, quote unquote, right? It's not gonna be profitable in these latter days, man. Right, so again, take it away the speech of the trusty, right? Because people have their, their confidants, uh, you know? Uh, people always uh, uh, trusting the so-called yep. uh, elders who, who may not have that, that spirit of understanding, man. Yep. You know, they may have uh, been uh, groomed from a time where, where things were taught differently, yep. you know, not given that full understanding, mm -hmm. but hey, Right now, the, the total uh, spirit of understanding is out here, man. That's right. This word, this truth, this wisdom, knowledge, right. and understanding out there. Let me grab this real quick out of Job chapter uh, 32 and verse 9. It says, great men are not always wise, neither do the aged understand judgment. Right, judgment, which goes into justice, right, once again, man. So they're wise according to their own conceits, if you will, according to their, you know, uh, there's a way that seemed right to a man, but the ways thereof are the ways of death, spoken of in the books of uh, Proverbs. And that's actually mentioned twice. That's referenced twice. It's repeated, reiterated in the book of Proverbs, right? Which is, again, a, a, it was a very important point to make that King Solomon had wanted to make and emphasize and hammer down, right? Say, hey, man, these people are going to trust in themselves, man. It's not profitable. The ways of the world, the ways of death, man, point blank, period. What about Shaki, you read up uh, verse, eight? verse 8? Oh, oh, oh yeah, Job 32, Slaka. Yeah, let me grab Job 32 and 8. Or let me grab this. It says, but there is this. Hey, it's like it. But there is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. That's right, man. So the spirit of truth is out here mm -hmm. right now, man. Mm -hmm. To where we have this this total truth out here uh, in these end days, man. Mm -hmm. To where hey, it's giving um, brothers and sisters the the understanding to uh, to make it, man. Yep. I don't want upon those chariots. Mm -hmm. to uh survive to be delivered out of the the destroyer man out mm -hmm. of the hand of esau of edom and in this uh, this furthering of the uh b system Con, that's right man it's not your 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 degree that's that's earned through these curriculums taught by esau of edom 
It's not, oh, I read this book, or have you heard of this book, or I watched this, that, and the third, right? No, man, it is the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that comes from Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai that is truly profitable, man. Mm -hmm. right, let me check the board real quick. It's like it. Hey, Shalom to the beloved brother Malak Laab. Y'all bash me on Shabbat Rakatah. Malak Laab. Y'all bash me on Shabbat Rakatah. Y'all bash me on Shabbat Rakatah. And Shalom to the brothers chosen elegidos. Y'all bash me on Shabbat Rakatah. Y'all bash me on Shabbat Rakatah. Wabarak Tham. To you and the brother, you guys are laboring together, man. Beautiful brothers doing English and Spanish lessons. So, Baba Gashai, you can check out the brothers chosen elegidos. Right? Proverbs 27 and 17. Iron sharpeneth iron. So, a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. Woo! Right, baby, sharpening the countenance of his friends. So that is what we are trying to do through the spirit and also being edified by other brothers, man, that are laboring, going hard in the paint in the names of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, right? Constantly doing the work and edifying brothers, man, building each other up, man. You know, I try to watch as many videos as humanly possible, man, because beautiful brothers are always going in, getting the work in, man, right? I always refer to it as a spiritual buffet. Right? Constantly getting that word, getting that living water, that bread of life, man. Right? Again, being edified that we may build up Adon Rathazah, go into the edifying others, man. And it's just that type of day today through the spirit, Brother Bana, which goes into edifying, to build. Right? So, hey, man, that's just that type of day through the spirit. All praise the Allah Shabbat Shah. That's right. That's right, man. Continue here at Job 12 and verse 21. He poureth the contempt upon princes and weakeneth the strength of the mighty. Mm -hmm. That's, That's right. right, man. So he, he is, um, he was showing it that he was bringing this place down, man. You know, he is weakening the economy, weakening uh, the power of uh, America each day, you know, building up the BRICS alliance, building up the, the stronghold of those, those nations, man, ultimately to bring down the, the, demise of Babylon America, man, in this uh, EU system. Mm -hmm. That's right. Kind of just through the spirit. Let me grab the etymology for the word contempt. So contempt in the etymonline.com etymology goes, in, which etymology goes into study of truth. Now it says open disregard or disobedience, right, of authority, the law, which goes into the law of Yahweh Shemil Shai, or act of despising a scorn for what is mean, vile, or worthless, right? So again, now, let me also reference this point since the brother brought that out. Let me grab Psalm chapter 107 and verse 40. He poureth contempt, Sakya. He poureth contempt upon princes and causeth them to wander in the wilderness where there is no way. That's right, man. So again, he's gonna, he's, it was a void place, man. There was no way that path it's not, again, man, they don't have that light, that path is truth, man, not obedience, so on and so forth. All right, so again, he's gonna pour contempt upon that, man, All right? It's uh, Job 12 and 22. He discovereth deep things out of darkness and bringeth out to light the shadow of death. Mm -hmm. That's right, man, so here in Babylon, America, you know, uh, going back to Psalm 23, this being the, the valley of the shadow of death, man. You know, but, hey, um, you know how, how are the hidden things of Esau sought out? You know, we know that they are brought out through the, the brightness of the coming of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, man. And, you know, this truth being brought out and many of the um, things that, that were what's hidden, man, are being manifested. Okay, let, let me grab this real quick. Uh, Bible shot through the Spirit. Let me grab uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 4, start of verse 4. It says, For I know nothing by myself, yet am I not hereby justified, but he that judgeth me is out of one Yahweh, the Lord. Right? So, again, it is, it is of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shail, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, right? All these beautiful manifestations of this truth, so on and so forth, right? But the point here in verse 5, 1 Corinthians 4 and 5, Therefore, judge nothing before the time. Until Adawan Yahweh the Lord come, who both will bring to light the hidden things of darkness and will make manifest the counsels of the hearts, which is again, La'ab, your mind, and then shall every man have praise of the Most High, praise of God. That's right, man. So again, the Heavenly Father, man. You know, the scriptures speak of that as well. You know, in the New Testament, um, I forget the exact, you know, where it's at, but it speaks of uh, everything shall be brought forth to the light, right? You know, everything that shall be brought forth to the light, man. You know, you know, uh, you know the wicked 
shall be revealed. So we know who the wicked is, being uh, Esau of Edom, the so-called uh, so-called white people. You know, the, the elites that are in the, the power right now, the power seat, going to, uh, what is that, Micah 2. I'm talking about that, uh, that council of the wicked, you know, that, that wake up and, and devise evil every morning, man. Yep, yep, because it is there. They're in the power of the hands of the same one. It's like, yeah, let me grab this out real quick, Bobby shot of uh, Job chapter 34 and 25. There, um, oh, it's like, yeah. Oh, it's like, you know what? Nah, nah, nah. Hold on. Oh, I just had, I just had it right now. It's like, it's like, one moment, it's like it for that. I had a little brain fart there. Me bring up, uh, uh, it's, it's like it was Job 34 22. It's like you. It says, There is no darkness nor shadow of death where the workers of iniquity may hide themselves. That's right, man. So, again, all things are going to be manifested and brought into the light, man. Right? All things are going to be made known, man, and, and through the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shai, right? Revealing the, the truth, man, and, and the hidden agendas, right? You know, these, these false teachings, uh, narratives, so on and so forth, man. God. And then they're going to know that the power of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, the Holy One of Israel, has made that possible, right? Because mm -hmm. what they what have they, what they have been able to conceal for so long, man, and keep our people, you know, in, in the trick bag, the ultimate against the Heavenly Father doing so. God, man, we but, see, uh, you know, people like uh, uh, Bill Gates buying up all, all the the farmland, man, buying yep. up most of the uh, the northwestern region of America, you know, and. Uh, you know, buying up the land, we see them pushing for, um, you know, federal uh, laws that, that pertain to them being able to go in and, and go on somebody's land and, and test their, their fruit. And if they, they go and say that, that your fruit is contaminated, they go and take and make you destroy all the food products, man. Mm -hmm. Gone. You know? Gone, yeah. They, they even go, they're even going so far as making you register uh, your gardens. Gone. Like the like community gardens mm -hmm. and even home gardens. They're actually Gone. looking, at, I believe that now they're, they're passing legislation to where you have to register home gardens, man. Gone. <laughs> so just you bring about that uh, famine. Yep, yeah, that's right, that physical famine. Gone, yeah. gone. Absolutely. Gone. Absolutely. Check the board real quick. We'll continue on. All right, we're good. And, it, and even with this uh, agenda 2030, you know, everybody uh, uh, converting to electric vehicles. And once these uh, power grids go down, man, you're going to be shit out of luck, man. Yep. Gone. Exactly. Everyone, you know, protesting, you know, quote unquote climate protests and so on and so forth, man. You know, they don't realize that. Foot, foot track or yep. whatever. Exactly. When you look at it on the opposite side of the spectrum, right, of what goes into actually. Uh, harvesting all the materials to make that all the lithium and, and so on and so forth and everything uh, uh, I forget the other there's another um, uh, precious metal I think uh, uh, that goes into that uh, I believe it, it's like uh, for a new Tesla battery it's like ten thousand dollars for that battery or something like that yeah con, mm -hmm. con. and also when you go into uh, all the water not only like all the land and, and how that contaminate you know more or less defiles the land if you will but also all the water that it takes to actually harvest that material as well man so all these people that are thinking they're doing the world some good and, and doing all these things man it's all in vain right it's all in vain man because they're, they're they don't really have your best interest man they're not they're looking to uh, to monopolize on these things Con, that's what Con, telling you to uh, eat soy based products uh, um, this uh, uh what is that what do they call that meat Oh, uh, uh, Beyond Meat and stuff Beyond like that. Meat, yeah. things like that, man. <laughs> yeah, Thinking that you're uh, doing a service, you know, eating good. But really, yeah. you're, the soybean farms are, are continuing to add into the deforestation. You know, and, and they're going to tell you that. Oh, well, soon enough, man, eat them bugs, man. Eat the bugs. We're going to eat the bugs, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's so, down clouds, man. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking to your time. Job 12 and 23. Yeah, he on, increaseth the nations and destroyeth them. He enlargeth the nations and straighten them again. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. You're going to make them, he straighteneth them again, right? He brings them back to prominence, right? He makes them great again, right? He gives them those provisions and blessings and so on and so forth. The, the book of Daniel goes into that, right? You know? Fact here, let's, let's maybe we'll just grab that through the spirit, right? God. Yeah, man, because yeah. I believe that's the second chapter, right? So again, man, yeah, the heavenly Father's gonna do that, the, do all those great and wonderful things, right? 
he increased the nation and destroyed them. He enlarged nations. Again, speaking of sustainability and provisions and so on and so forth, man. Right? Yeah, let's grab this out of... Uh, this is the book of Daniel. Yep, yep. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 2, uh, going to verse 20. Now, this is, again, for context, this was after Daniel had interpreted through the spirit of Yahbashim Yahashai the dream that Nebuchadnezzar had had, which he sought the interpretation, the understanding of it from his from his counsel, if you will, right? Soothsayers, quote-unquote, and so on and so forth, right? But ultimately, they weren't able to uh, break it down for him, right? So this is uh, St. Daniel. Uh, it's like a Daniel. Yeah, oh, he's a saint. Yeah, St. Daniel. Chapter 2 and verse 20. Right, pursuant to Psalm 148, right? Hebrew Israelites, man, are the saints. So, again, uh, Daniel 2 and 20 says, Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of the power, the most high, God forever and ever, and wisdom, for wisdom and might are his, and he changeth the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. God, God, and that, going back to, uh, what is that, Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, you know, the time and season for everything. Yep. That's right. That's right. So we're in that time, right? We're in a spiritual war right now, man. right? It's time to gird up. I don't want to have to die. So the Heavenly Father continues to keep us in a believing spirit and a spirit that fears displeasing our power, right? Continuing on in the same verse, Daniel 2 and 21, same verse reads, He giveth wisdom unto the wise and his knowledge to them that know understanding. That's right, man. So again, he gives that wisdom and knowledge and understanding. It is not of yourself. Yeah, yeah, so many quote-unquote Bible scholars have read you know, the Old Testament, New Testament, front to back, and can, can reference various things, but cannot truly understand it. They can't truly break it down for what it is, right? And that's because the Lord ain't working with them, man. Point blank, period. Beautiful. So again, going back to that Job, though, yeah, that Job 12, right? Again, the Heavenly Father is going to give the increase, man. Continue with uh, Job 12 and 24. He taketh away the heart of the chief of the people and causeth them to wander in a wilderness where there is no way. Mm -hmm. Right, man. Take away the heart. Takes away their understanding, right? So, again, you got, you got all these people that are going about, right, thinking that they're wise of the world, right? You know, again, earning a degree, a scholar in these, these uh, curriculums that are taught by Esau of Edom, right, so on and so forth but rather again this wisdom knowledge and understanding is the truth man right for the hebrew israelites okay this this word these holy scriptures were written for our people right those who derive from the seed line of jacob you so-called negroes latinos and native americans haitians and west indians and all that are scattered abroad it is not for the biblical moabites the so-called chinese it is not for the ammonites the so-called japanese it is not for those so-called koreans man so on and so forth man the word of god is written for our people man <laughs> it's not like a, how, to, how to do that because you know got a freaking some uh little what appeared to be you know hey you never know though you know what i mean you know speckled bird you got to try the spirit but yeah, yeah you know yeah yeah what, what, what may have been some heathen over here trying to take a video man so but we'll never know you know don't want to don't want to cast unrighteous judgment that's right so hey he's taking away the the heart the the, the mind you know uh, of the, the chief of the people of the earth being uh those that chief of the people being the, the head, the, the summit, the top. And we got these, uh, uh, you know, so-called uh, global leaders, man. You know, like the, the, the clown schwabs of the earth, man, mm -hmm. that are here thinking that they can uh, formulate this plan, this B system, that, mm -hmm. that they will succeed in it, man. Mm -hmm. And the, the Bashim Yal Shai got them in the trick bag. Yep, yep, con. And it says, uh, and caused them to wander in a wilderness where there is no way. That's right, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, leading them onto a, a way, a place where there's no way out, man, except destruction, man, and judgment. Yep, gone, absolutely. It says, uh, finish with Job 12 and 25, they grope in the dark without light, and he maketh them to stagger like a drunken man. Mm -hmm. That's right, that, that Babylonian juice, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that, uh, that, that filthy wine, you know? That, that they are trying to make the whole earth drunken with. Mm hmm Gone, gone. In fact, let's just... Yeah, let's grab this as well. So, since the brother mentioned that, let's grab that. Psalm 107. Go back to Psalm 107 in verse 26. It says, They mount up to the heaven, they go down again into the depths. Their soul is melted because of trouble. They reel to and fro and stagger like drunken men, like a drunken man, and are at their wit's end. 
That's right, man. Their wisdom is completely obliterated, swallowed up, destroyed, right? And again, that is something that is uh, at the will of your Ha'obashim Ha'oshai, man. So those, again, man, there's many people that are going to be wise in their own conceits, man. But they're going to be made, you know, ultimately the Heavenly Father is going to expose them, right? Uh, Elder Apostle Gabar used to always say that as well, man. Expose them, expose them, expose them, right? Speaking of Esau of Edom and these damn devils, right? Continuously expose these devils, man. And the Heavenly Father is going to do that as well. Cast forth this judgment and, and put it all on display for the remnant the elect to see. God, and that uh, when it says he maketh them to stagger like a drunken man, the strongs here goes into Ta'a, and that goes into um, to uh, pretty much to to go astray, mm -hmm. to wander about of uh, intoxication of sin, mm -hmm. and ultimately to uh, be deceived. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So, hey, man, like uh, we read earlier, man, the deceived and deceiver are both his. Mm-hmm. Con. Ooh, shit. Yeah, yeah, I think I might have to grab this. Okay, Bubba Kasha. Yep, yep. Let's grab this out of Job chapter 15, and we'll start at verse 24. That says, Trouble and anguish shall make him afraid. They shall prevail against him as a king ready to the battle. For he stretcheth out his hand against the Most High, stretcheth out his hand against God and strengtheneth himself against the Almighty. Right, he acts defiantly, man, and that is the nature of Esau of Edom, man, against those who uh, take on the same spirit, man, and try to embody the, the same spirit, man, take on the spirit of Esau of Edom and these other heathen, man. Right, now continuing on, it says in verse 26, he runneth upon him, even up on his neck, upon the thick bosses of his bucklers, because he covereth his face with fatness. That term fatness goes into fullness. It says, and maketh, Collops of fat on his flanks. And that term collop goes into his waist, right? So it goes into the waistline, right? You, you're continuously fattening yourself, man. You know, the, the scriptures speak of that as well. Uh, the scripture uh, uh, speaks of them uh, bellowing as as, uh, as cow or calves are bellowing, right? Which means uh, more or less talking about how, how they're fat. They're, they're bellowing as the heifer at grass. I believe it says as the heifer at grass, right? So basically saying, hey man, they're, they're continuously uh, over... Uh, over consuming through rape rob and pillage man continue continuously afflicting people uh, all all nations right the book of nahum chapter 3 and 19 goes into that as well right you know talking about them afflicting who how ha who haven't they afflicted man right basically just to kind of sum it up right so yeah these damn devils man there's gonna be no one to, to, to you know ultimately deliver them man because who haven't they afflicted man the entire earth, the entire earth man all right now now, continuing on in uh, verse, again, Job uh, 15 and 27. Because he covereth his face with fatness and maketh collops of fat on his flanks, and he dwelleth in desolate cities and in houses which no man inhabiteth, which are ready to become heaps, he shall not be rich, neither shall his substance continue, neither shall he prolong the perfection thereof upon the earth. Right, and you're seeing them fall, man. Right, the stock markets, you know, in, in bad shape. You saw recently that the, the stock market had a closing that was its, at its worst in, in a few months, man, right? You see the S&P 500, you see all these things that are being affected, man, right? These people that are taking heavy losses. All right, continuing on in verse 29, most lucky, Job 15 and 30, he shall not depart out of darkness. The flame shall dry up his branches and by the breath of his mouth shall he go away. That's right, man. So again, the heavenly father, man, that breath, that fire, this truth, man, ultimately, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai and the elect, man, right? All of those things, man, are going to lead to the destruction of Esau of Edom and these other heathen nations, but primarily Esau of Edom. That's right. Uh, what does the scripture say? He's going to, uh, Esau, the house of Esau will be uh, uh, left as a stubble. Yep. Yep. That's right, man. The man should be dry as stuff, man. That Obadiah 1 and 18, right? Yep. Because, hey, man, that, that fire that's coming, that flame, man, yep. in those uh, hypersonic missiles, man. Yep. You know, they, they are coming uh, to destroy this place, man. That's right, man. And, and you know, these uh, Edomites, man, they're, they, they're going to be put out ultimately from yep. the earth. That's right, man. Yep. Soon to that Psalm 149, right? They're nobles, man. They're going to be, they're nobles and kings, man. They're going to be, be tightly fitted with chains and fetters of iron, man. Right? I don't not desire we may be of that number to slap some chains on Esau, man, firsthand. Come, but hey, these, these devils are not going to not gonna quit, man. Yep. They're not going to quit with that evil plan until Yahweh Shem Yahweh lays down that judgment. 
Yep, yep, gone. Yeah, they have a purpose, man, right? They have a role to play in the Lord's movie, man. And that's that role, man, right? Uh, an antagonist, right? That's it. That's right. That's it. Okay, come, come. All right, man, so let's check the board real quick. Might be wrapping it up. Okay, con, con, yep, yep. Brother said, darn devils will try to make us apply for a license to breathe air. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's it, man. Yeah. And even then, man. Yeah, they want to put a chip in you, man, and charge you for uh, how, how much air you're breathing in. Right, hey, right, con, hey, you know, you're breathing too much air, man. You know what I mean? Right. You got to save some air for somebody else. That's right. you, you know, this, these is damn devils, man. These damn devils. And they, with their, uh, you know, damn chemtrails and their cloud seeding and so on and so forth, all the other, you know, pollutants that they put in the air man this place is just through man right yeah. but even then you know lord's will man hey yeah hey. you know lord's will we continue to push strong and endure in this thing i don't know if we are one day closer to the kingdom right. one day closer to the salvation because the victory is already won through our lord and savior mashiach yahweh shai through the powers of yahweh bashim yahweh shai that's it so hey man may we continue abounding in the faith man and uh praying for fewer days yep. shorter days because right. hey we see the work you see the chess pieces moving yep. so hey let's just continue to stay up on our watch and, and pray for for mercy and deliverance from y'all by shimmy all shot so right. hey the water to all the akim uh we stopped by mm -hmm. the the akia wa, mm -hmm. the water for the precepts the brothers posted up mm -hmm. adding unto the edification mm -hmm. and uh you know how about y'all shot bracket thumb may the lord continue to to deliver you brothers and sisters mm -hmm. so uh, hey uh, we'd like to close out by facing the east and giving all honor glory and praise unto our power Yahweh, and once again double honors to the elder apostles of great millstone who rule on teach well and the like-minded elders and brothers teaching in truth and sincerity shalom mm -hmm. and once again uh peace be unto you brothers and sisters you know, the believers, the faithful, you know, continue abounding and praying to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Khan, Khan. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Barakatam wa barakim tam yad. Blessings always. Shalom to the brother Kanoa Yala. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Barakatah. Just say you hop on, bro. Say amen. Lord's will is, Lord, again, Lord's will is edifying, comforting, exhorting to the hopeful elect, the hopeful remnant. Keep fighting the good fight of faith. That's right. All right. So, uh, curse upon this place. Abad, Baba, DTA, so, Kwame Yashirala. That's right. Shalom. Shalom. The water. The water, you are appreciated. Until next time, I don't know what to say. Shalom.